Hey everybody, this is Steve Hausen with tons of tech .com. Today we're going to go and show you how to edit a video on your Galaxy Tab. The funny thing about this video is we don't actually recommend doing it, and the reason for that is because when you install this, this application, and uh, we'll put a link to it in the video, um, it was ripped from a Samsung Galaxy phone, so when you install it, it basically asks to access every aspect of your um, your tablet. So for the purposes of this demo, we're going to have it in airplane mode um, while we have it installed because we're not sure it's malicious, but uh, just don't want to take any chances. So when you install it, it adds this video edit button or uh, icon. So we click on that and uh, it doesn't actually go full screen on the tablet because it wasn't designed for this device, but it's full screen enough that it, it's very easy to edit the videos. So I just went around and um, shot some clips around the neighborhood. So I'm going to do a quick, you know, pointless video with that. Um, when you first load up the application and create a new one, it, you can pick some themes. And the themes are conference, home video, movie, party, stage, and travel. Uh, what we're going to do is just go into a basic, no theme. And from here you can uh, add movies, add pictures, add music, or photos. What we're going to do is we're going to go into the uh, add movie and then uh, these are our clips that we have available. Um, let's go ahead and drag this guy. You just tap on it, drag it to the timeline. If you want to put the this clip, let's say we want to put this after the current one, just drag it after. So we want to put this one first, drag it first. Whoops. It's a little trickier to do it first. So there we go. Okay, so we have our clips in the timeline, and uh, you know, if we go back here, we can play our movie. And down in the bottom corner here, it gives you the, your current play position and how long the video is. So let's see, that first clip, that's uh, kind of too long. So let's stop this, and we're going to tap on this blue um, function up here, and we're going to go into trim mode. So that's going to take a second to load up and switch modes. Okay, so there we are in trim mode. And you can see if we select the trim option, this is our playhead. We can drag this guy and let's make this uh, clip five seconds instead. There, five seconds. So now we can go back to uh, add media, which also gets us back into this play mode. And then this first clip is now going to jump at five seconds. I don't see, know if you can see those numbers there, but there we are, five seconds jumps to the next clip. So that's a quick trim. Um, let's say we want to add some transitions between these clips because it's just a straight cut now. We go into this effects option. So we go into effects, and it automatically puts these transition markers in between the clips, which don't have any transition associated with them. So let's tap on that. And the transitions you get are bars, checkerboard, circle, dissolve, down left, down right, fade, heart, rectangle, reverse down, reverse, reversal right. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, reveal down, reveal right, split horizontal, split vertical, up left, up right, wheel, wipe down, wipe right. Uh, so let's do wheel for the first one, okay? So now we got a real transition. You can tell by the highlighting that there's now a transition assigned to this one. So let's add a different transition to this one. Let's do a wipe down. How about that? Okay. So let's go back to the beginning of the video by hitting that left arrow a few times. And you'll see in real time, this will display our video and then go right into our transition. It's a little smoother once you render the video, but uh, you get the idea. So there, we have a basic video with transitions. We can go in and uh, add media again. And this should switch over. And uh, we can add music. I don't, I'm not sure I have any music on this device right now. I don't, but if you do have music, you can add it into um, the timeline. You just drag it right down under the video. It's very simple. And uh, you can add in pictures and, um, you know, movies and whatever else you want in there. Then when you're all done, oh, you, 
in the middle of your editing your video, you can also click on themes and switch it over to one of the predefined themes, which is that's a pretty nice feature. And then one thing I didn't show you in trim, there's also a split option. So if you want to put it, you know, if you have a clip and you want to put a transition in the middle of it, you can split it and add a transition there. And uh, that works really well. So let's say, uh, you know, we're all done with this video. We can go ahead and I just hit the menu button, export video. And these are all our different um, options for exporting the video. So I'm going to try to do this as a 1280 by 720p. Um, the Galaxy Tab doesn't actually shoot in this resolution, but you know we'll export it and uh, I'll upload it for you, and we'll see how it goes. So um, if you have any questions or want to see anything else in detail about this uh, device, about the application, or about any other device or application, go ahead and uh, leave us a message. Send us a private message in. YouTube, reply to the comments of the video, uh, reply on our website, whatever you want to do. It's tonsatech.com. And make sure to subscribe to get updated on our newest videos and uh, follow us on uh, Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.